Hello everyone, welcome to the Geeks for Geeks and in this playlist of DFA and FA complete guide today we will be discussing about a problem where the our DFA will construct a DFA which will accept the strings of length mod 3 okay so basically going to the problem first of all here is our discussion point where construct a DFA of mod 3 length string okay so firstly mod 3 means we will get three remainders right if we divide any length okay any any integer by 3 we can get three remainders 0 1 or 2 okay so getting a zero remainder means the length of the string is perfectly divided by 3 okay so getting a remainder 1 means the length of the string is divided by 3 and we will get a remainder 1 okay so firstly in our first uh, question i mean in our first problem the length of the string should be perfectly divided by 3 okay so that means that it means that our DFA will accept the strings of length 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, etc. Okay. So, in that case, there should be some states. Okay. So, firstly, accepting 0 length means, accepting 0 length means, our initial state will be final state. Fine. After that, if we are getting another symbol A or B, oh, so uh, we need to mention that our alphabet is having only two symbols, that is A or B okay so if we are getting any one symbol then we will be going to some non accepting state fine because it is a length one string right so it won't be accepted but again if we are getting another symbol that means that we are getting some length two string okay fine so that also won't be accepted right so finally it comes when we will get a length three string okay so if we are getting another symbol that means that we are getting a length 3 string and obviously it should be accepted. Correct. So, this is a DFA which will accept all of this length 0, length 3 and you can also try for length 6. See, we are here with length 3, right? Upon getting another symbol, we will be going to length 4, then length 5, then going back, we will get length 6 string, right? So, all of this 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, all the lengths which are divided by 3 will be accepted in the initial state only right so this is the dfa which will accept the language given here and so our next question is same but here we will have a remainder of one okay that means that whatever i mean the length of the string should be one four or maybe seven maybe ten okay so it will be like this so our first string won't be zero Okay, I mean our first string won't be null because we are not accepting the zero length string, right? So, by getting a single symbol, our string will be accepted, right? By getting another symbol, we are, we are going to the length two string, right? So, length two strings won't be accepted, right? By getting another symbol, we will be getting length three string, okay? So, length three string won't be accepted, but from here we are getting a loop so that this length four again i mean again if we go back suppose this is length 4 okay so this is this will be length 5 again getting a symbol it will be length 6 and coming here it will be length 7 okay so we will be accepting all this 1 4 7 10 length strings okay etc so we will be accepting all the strings uh, where if we if you divide the length by 3 you will get a remainder of 1 okay so this is the corresponding dfa now going to the third problem where the same question just the little difference is that the remainder will be 2 okay so for 3 okay if, if if you are working with mod 3 example then i told that you are you will have three remainders right 0 1 and 2 so for three remainders basically you need you need to have these three states okay this is a very simple problem to draw dfa right so you need to have three states now, if they are asking that the remainder will be 2, then this will be your final state, right? If the remainder is 0, then the initial state should be the final state. If the remainder is 1, then the intermediate state will be the final state, okay? And the rest, all the productions, everything is similar, okay? So, after getting a single symbol, it will go to an intermediate state. After getting another symbol, it will go to a final state because our uh, question i mean in our question it was told that the remainder will be 2 
okay so remainder will be 2 means it will accept the strings of length 2 maybe 5 maybe 8 maybe 11 and all okay so it will accept i mean our given language will be accepted by this given dfa okay i hope that there is no problem if there is any issue you can rewind the video and you can see the lecture again i hope it will be absolutely clear okay so this was our discussion point for today's lecture thank you for joining in the next videos we'll be having another very interesting problem sets related to dfa nfa in this lecture thank you